Okay. Uh, tonight we're going to work on a combination in the Kempo system. It's a more advanced combination, 79 combination. It's not too complicated to learn. It takes a bit of practice to be able to apply because we're going to be dealing with a throw in this technique. And, and uh, learning how to punch and apply that in a self-defense situation, that's pretty straightforward. Learning how to grapple with somebody takes a little bit more time. Okay. So he's going to do a step through punch and I'm going to block down and this is going to circle around as I move in and I'm going to punch to the solar plexus, I'm going to grab him, and I'm going to throw him around that way. Okay, and I held him a little, I didn't want him, I didn't want to get him up and just slam him on the ground. Okay, because he wasn't exactly aware of what was going on just yet. Alright, so he throws the punch, I block down, and now I'm sticking with him, as, as he pulls back I'm going to move in and I'm going to punch. But you might already be asking, well what about that other hand? And if if he activates that other hand, if he starts throwing a punch at me, it's pretty straightforward. It's designed this way. I just move in, I trap, I drop down under, and I throw him around that way. Okay? Thank you. There's your technique. Uh, let's, let's get you started working on that, and then we're going to come back and we're going to look at how we can adopt the white crane blocking method within this technique. This is one of those combinations that's just tailor-made for white crane blocking. Okay, so get to work on that and then we'll get back and we'll discuss that. At this point, we're going to take the technique and we're just going to adapt the white crane strategy okay, of blocking. Now, if this is a low punch, put the other side forward. As he steps through and punches, he's not going to punch and leave his hand out. So what we have is what's called a downward hooking block in white crane. And the hook I want to connect with, with this part here. And as he punches, now a little bit wider stance for this technique. I'll show you what to do if the stance is narrow in a minute. Okay? From here, this hook, as he punches, he's going to pull back. And I'm sticking with him. I'm following him in. Now I know that hand's coming, so I can use my downward hooking block, and I can use an outward block at the same time to deal with this. Okay? So again, he punches and he pulls back. And I'm just sticking. Again, punch and pull back. That's low. Where's that other hand? Punch. Yeah, and I trap. Okay, what if he punches high? The same technique works high. We showed you that before. Your covering block, throw the high punch. And now I bring, I direct as he's drawing his hand back, I'm actually going to direct it down, use a low hooking block to draw. And I want you to try both methods. So method one, low punch, hooking block, follow in and trap. Method two, high punch, use the covering block. From the covering block, I stick with him and I hook it down. Now that hand's coming in, and I just grab and throw. Okay? Try it. Now, I'm going to show you what to do if you're dealing with a narrow stance in a second, but before I do, I want to remind you, practice this both ways. And that's how we'll wrap up class, is I'll let you continue to work on this technique, as well as an alternate technique, uh, and practice them from both sides. So if he punches with the other hand, I can block, whether it's solar plexus, or up, I can use my covering block. If it's lower than that, I use my hooking block. Now, not too narrow yet. We'll do that in a second. As he pulls back, I stick with him. I grab here and throw. Okay, there's, your, there's the first technique. Now, what if that stance is too narrow? Well, now I'm not going to use this technique. It's not designed for that. So if he throws his punch, now don't activate the other hand just yet. As he's pulling back, I stick with him. This coils around. I'm staying by the elbow, not the shoulder, and I just step back and I take him down that way. Now, there is still an additional piece here. We do know that that other hand is probably going to come into play. We can do the same technique. One, if that other hand's coming at me, I still have my, my chin na as I grab this hand and I use both hands to aid in my uh, takedown. Okay? So there you go. Work on those and then that's it.